Evening all, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So, we finished off last episode with these four assemblers here building iron plates. We've got over 400 going on now. I've moved up all my screws and a lot of my uh, iron rods in here. Uh, I moved my workbench from downstairs up here so I could manually fill them. But it's about time we got off of the manual feeling and uh, got into the automatic one. So, let's do that, shall we? Um... That is confirmed Mark 2. This is all right up here. We just need to implement it down, down the bottom. We also have all of our iron plates come in. So that should work pretty well. That whole system has backed up. It's been left running for a good hour or so. But let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? So we'll just connect these up and it should, in theory, just work. In theory, and there's all our screws going off, and uh, yeah, of course, these can carry 120 a minute, these produce 90, so we will get to a point where these actually empty out, which is absolutely fine, that's kind of what we want. Um, and then these will output to there at the speed required because everything will be awesome, everything will balance and run and be absolutely fine. Uh, I really feel as if I'm still a little bit small scale on these, um, that I should be doing a lot more than I am. Uh, yeah, so this should finish just as these, yeah, exactly as it gets 24, so that's correct. But as soon as the machines down, the, the inventory downstairs empties out, this will uh, fill itself out. If that makes sense, it'll it'll filter down and uh, we'll actually run out of, um, it'll, it'll slow down because instead of getting the 120 per minute, it's getting 90 per minute and uh, nothing I can do about that yet, unless I was to build extra things downstairs to have more coming in. But as it stands, I'm happy with this system here, that's going to hurt, ow, um, uh, yeah, I'm happy with the system here, it's, it's, um, it's working, it's doing the job, it seems to be absolutely fine. I do want to go and double check, but I can't because I've just fell off, so let me just build a quick walkway down. Does that connect to here? It does not, because we're on the wrong level, but I don't care. That'll stop me falling off. Might run that one to the ground as well, just to give me another, another way up. But, um, yeah. So, this is going to give us our... Reinforced iron plates, which is awesome, which we need. Our reinforced iron plates are becoming a big thing that we need. We're still not getting many of them. We still need a very large implementation of those. Um, and we are using pretty much all of our iron to do this, with the exception of this one here. I think this one here, sorry. Um, we're using our all our iron to, um, to do that. So this is getting a hundred and so it's getting 75 in and sending 60 out so uh so yeah all apart from one of these smelters is actually being used this entire complex is being used sorry all apart from two of these smelters are being used for producing reinforced iron plates so if i wanted to add an assembler to make uh, rotors for instance we're going to need more iron we're going to desperately need more iron. And uh, that's what's going to be the focus for today's episode. It's going to be upgrading our power system and then um, trucks was going to be the, the idea. So what do we need for coal? We need modular frames. What do we need to make modular frame? I feel as if that uses poles and reinforced iron plates I think it's a good job we're making reinforced iron plates isn't it do, do, do. Ooh, I just want to have a look at some research um, and get some other things going so we've got here modular frames yeah it uses them okay let's make a load of I, I didn't actually check how many it needs it needs three 
So, uh, if I want to upgrade to five of them, I know I can run ten off of a pure one with extra line, but with the current belt in its condition, we can run five. So, I'm going to make three more. So, I need nine modular frames. Like that, there we go. We probably need more to make the trucks and things, but right now, I'm happy with uh, just doing it this way. We'll put down some more coal power plants, we'll connect them up. It would be kind of nice if you could have a priority system where you say, uh, you know, the coal machines go on first and then if power is too low, use them. It doesn't seem to be that way, it seems to balance it out amongst all of the uh, things, so... What, where is it? There it is. There. What sort of gap was I leaving between them? I cannot remember. I was leaving one gap, two gap. Wow, it's really twitchy. Uh, like that. One, two. I'm leaving the two gap by the looks of it. Yep. Okay. One, two. That. And one, two, like that. Okie dokie. Um, so we're there. I'm also a little confused as to why that looks silver from this side. And then orange from this side. Is that because of the inputs and outputs? Have I never noticed that before? Possibly. Quite possibly. I've just never noticed that a, a splitter looks like that. I don't know. There. You to there, and you to there, and there we go. Okie dokie. And uh, then we want to go with another power pole over here. Oh, I've got another one as well. Oh. There. Connect to that one. Uh, but you're connecting to three of them. You're connecting to three of them. So you're going to connect to that one as well. You connect to that one and you connect to that one. And that leaves you one free space for another on the end if we need another one. And I can't afford that because I need iron plates. Really? I'm out of iron plates? My word. Um. That's annoying. I don't suppose I've got any lying around in here, have I? I have not. Uh, I'm going to dismantle this burner. Because I can't be able to run all the way back to that. And, uh... Ooh, crap. They're uh, off the ground flatly. That's fine. Uh, so, five of a splitter there, and hopefully I've got enough iron plates to connect them up. I have just, absolutely just, spot on. Okay, there we go. So you're now going to get some coal coming in, hopefully. Ba -ba 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 -bum. And that should be enough to run all of these at full power. There we go. Okay, we are now producing... 290. I was looking at the numbers there going, hey, hang on, I don't add that up. Yeah, 290. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 here, and then 40 over there with those two. So yeah, our base is going to be good for a long time for power. And these, um, see, these are still actually using the biomass. And it would be nice for them to not use the biomass. It'd be nice to be able to go, well, you know, don't run these because the fuel. I mean, I could. I'm going to turn them off because we really don't need them. We really don't need them. Uh, they, uh. 
I mean, they're fantastically useful, but we really don't need them to be turned on at the moment. And we're producing 150, and we're using like 55%. So we're good for a long time yet. Even if our concrete kicks in, starts going, and we add our copper to it, I think we're going to be fine for that. Um, that is with pretty much everything in that factory running. That should all be running flat out, with the exception of two motors. So, so we're good for that. Okay. You still got loads of. Yeah, we're not going to use that yet. So, a truck stop. How do you reckon that works? Let's uh, let's see. Let's dismantle this here. We no longer need our place there. Get some concrete back, and uh, we'll figure out how a truck stop works. How we can implement that. ourselves because that would be quite useful to have a truck going backwards and forwards grabbing iron I'm not sure how we fuel it I suppose we could bring some coal over unless they're well they're not electric I don't believe I think they're coal or, or iron uh, oil base sorry um, but I'm just thinking if we were to I don't even know how they work yet. Let's let's build one. Let's build one before I try and forget. So we need modular frames and we need uh, oh dear. what's that? Beacons. Whoa, okay. So we're gonna need more reinforced iron plates, more rods, more uh, normal iron plates. Which is all good. And we'll grab uh, two stacks of you. We'll grab a stack of you. And we'll go and grab some reinforced. Uh, everything is running. Yeah, everything's green. Nothing's flashing yellow. Um, yep. These are all green. Nothing's flashing yellow in here. That means everything is running at capacity. Or, well, up to capacity. It may be struggling a little bit for bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, we're using 165 at peak. Loads. Loads left. Awesome. Grab another 100 reinforced iron plates and make ourselves a couple of more modular frames. And we also need to make some beacons. Beacons are made in the equipment warehouse, I think. Uh, which is over by our main base. We'll have to go over there. Uh, I need two modular frames. Oops. I thought it needed a lot more than that, but it doesn't. But it doesn't. Uh, let's let's take the express route. I really need to figure out a way to actually get up here. What would be nice is diagonal walkways. That would be great. Having having a walkway that's uh, instead of being a straight line, it's actually diagonal, so I could build one from there to here, you know, 45 degree angle. That would be great. But we don't have them. We don't have them. Beacons. We needed how many beacons? Five. I should probably make some more beacons as well, actually, and keep them on me. I'm going to make as many of them as I can. There we go. Okay, we run out of copper cable, right, and then we'll make some more cable in here. Beacons are useful if you discover things, because um, they can, they, they're a beacon. You can put them down and you can make a, a mark and it'll appear on your radar. Um, I did figure out the map issue that I was having a while ago. Um, the issue is that there is no map, at least not in this version of it. You need to jump to the experimental version to get the map. So. That explains that one, uh, why I was having so much issues trying to, you know, push push X or, uh, yeah, push Z to bring the map up. It doesn't exist, so, yeah. Okay, so we can build ourselves a tractor. Did we have any coal in here? They can use biomass as well, I think, as a fuel. That's interesting. Maybe we could use up some of our biomass? Well, um, no, I think we'll... Um, We'll steal some coal from somewhere. 
like our first reactor. Fine. You're filling, up, you're filling up and you're filling up. Awesome. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll just steal it from the first one. That'll get priority anyway from the others. So you can climb these as well. Whoa. I really like you can climb all the machines. It's awesome. I've done this before, but it's like I like that you can do it. I like I like that they're not just some you know huge thing that you just don't ever deal with again, just put it down and that's it. You can climb them and we don't do anything with them, but you can climb them. So, let's build ourselves a truck or tractor. There it is. And we'll face it that way. Oh, there we go. We have a tractor. Awesome. Hello, tractor. So, you can drive it from anywhere. Great big tow hitch on the front of it. Like that. Um, oh, you can use the workbench in the back. That's where the fuel and everything goes. And uh, it's got some storage. Cool. And we can put coal in there. And that will go. Awesome. Vehicle, craft bench. Oh, there's a craft bench. Oh, it's got awesome. It's got proper built-in craft bench. Cool. That's quite useful. And then we can drive it by going to the side. Not recording. Autopilot inactive. Okay, so holding C brings up the recording mode. So you could go, hey, I want to record, start recording my, my path as I'm driving, and uh, then I guess it will drive it when you tell it not to. I suppose you've got to, like, you've got to do the route manually yourself. Space is handbrake, right, okay. Uh, how do you get off? Uh, F, E, E, press E again. All right, I'm gonna pick up the berries. Um, not the berries, I'm gonna pick up the, the nuts and put those in my hand instead because I think they're more, they're, they're better for you than not. Uh, and let's look for this iron, shall we? Oh. That way, 331 meters, let's go. Oh, there's loads over there. I saw I saw three blips. I'm going to stop at every berry and other bits and pieces I see because... Yeah. Want to pick up some food as we go? Because I don't have that much of it. Ooh. Well, they're definitely all terrain. That's quite cool. Uh, what's that? Is that iron? Ooh. That was iron. There's a... Can I run over? Splat. Cool. You can run them over and call them into, like, ragdoll mode. And then, from that, you can... Uh, just kill them in one go. Right, this is impure ore, so that means it only produces 30 a go, rather than the 60. It's okay, but uh, I want that one over there. There's three down there. That's what I want. Let's just drive off the edge there. Oh, there's some limestone there. That's quite cool. There's a walkie thing there. My handbrake stopped working apparently. Interesting. Table autopilot. Yeah, my handbrake's not working for some reason. How strange. Right, let's kill this thing here and uh Oh, 
awesome. Okay, so we're back, and uh, it's been a little while for me. It's been a few days since the uh, the, the last bit of recording there. Um, had an unexpected doorbell ring, and then the weekend came. But we have these three uh, normal iron ore areas, um, and I don't really know if we need them to be honest with you I think uh, we do we do need them we will need them eventually uh, there's more of them up there but looks things well right in front of me um, but I'm just wondering whether I, I kind of want to set up the the truck stop I want to set up um, do, 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 this thing here and have it drive back and forwards but it uses 20 power so I'd have to figure out a way to to have power going to it um, and have it stay powered. I could just connect it to the base. That wouldn't be a problem. You know, run the the lines across here because uh, there's not really any coal or anything around here for me to get access to. I believe. Look around. Nope. One coal over there, and there's one coal there at the base, and one a kilometre away that way. So yeah, okay. So if we want to actually do anything here, it's going to be a case of running the cables to build it. this distance let's go back to the base and uh, see what we can do we have to build a ramp up anyway because I don't think there's any proper way to get up run you down sweat um, I know there's a way up here in there yes okay that's fine so we could have it actually drive around and do that. I just don't know if we need that much iron. I don't know whether it's it's sort of do we need to go that much I know you obviously need lots of iron. That's the general rule of the game, but I don't really know whether we need to worry about it right now. This is something else I wanted to test as well. I can yeah, I don't know if I get hurt by them or not. Oh, I just destroyed a very bush. Oh well. Uh, right, that'll do. Okay. So, what was in there? Come on. Uh, so we've got reinforced plates being made. Um, I am honestly trying to think where we where where where, where we were. So we can go logistics mark three. We can go steel production. I think steel production is where to go because we need motors for things. So let's do that. Okay. Um, but let's have a look at trying to automate even more of this, shall we? So rotors we aren't automating yet. Let's have a look see. I know we've got reinforced iron going on there. And we've got lots of iron production here, generally doing nothing. There's, there's loads of it here just, just going into one storage bay at the end. Which is a huge waste. A huge waste when you think about it. There's, these are 15 each, so ignoring uh, that one, which is that is really not efficient what I'm doing there. I probably need to change that, because that one smelter can run two constructors. Um, So we got 15, 30, 45, 60, and then here. So we're producing more iron than we're actually using. Well, we're obviously doing that, but we're producing more iron than the belts can deal with. We do have 
this all working correctly, don't we? This is going into one each, yep. Yeah. These boats can only contain sixty a go, so that's working. We've got one going up there and going along as well. You are only feeding a single no, nope, you're feeding twins, aren't you? Yep, yeah, we got this one here. I'm trying to remember what I've done. I've I've completely forgotten what I'm doing. Uh, and then we've got this one here coming in and feeding two in there, and then one going off to feed that one there. Uh, yeah, this this could actually be this could go to two constructors to produce twice as many pipes. Not that we need twice as many pipes because we've got obviously a pipe production in the next room, making screws out of its pieces. But if we want to expand this out and look at building um, uh, rotors and modular frames we need uh, down the assembler I think it is yep I think it is um, we need to be feeding it iron rods and screws for an assembler for the um, rotors sorry and modular frames needs iron Reinforced iron plates and rods. Okay. Okay. Let's. I really want to change this up. I really want to change this up to have like two. Two constructors running off this one thing here. Can, can we do that? Let's give that a go, shall we? Can we squeeze two constructors in here? And then maybe move that. That's That'll be fine. So let's. And uh, <coughs> encroaching on another's clearance. So that's as far as ever we can get that one, and the answer is nowhere near. Nowhere absolutely near. Okay. Okay, so how else would we do this then? How else would we. Maybe, maybe we do it upstairs. Maybe we do it upstairs. I think, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna put in a storage container here. Do, 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 do uh, in the line with that there, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna destroy this wall here, and we're gonna take away that foundation there, which means that's gonna start floating, but. Do I need that? No, I don't. There you go. Okay. Then we're going to put in a uh, what's it wall here? A conveyor wall. Like so. And we're going to have you go to there. And you go to there. Okay. Now I can't pick up that because that's way too full of rods, but we'll figure that one out in a minute. Uh, up we go. Uh, can I put another walkway here? Can we, can we squeeze another walkway in here? No, we won't let me do that. Damn it. Okay. Jump. There we go. comes up here we then want it to split like so into two constructors Think about a space. 
Um, we want two trucks. We want one. Well, we want both of them producing iron rods, and we want one to go off to producing screws. Although screws require 15 iron rods, and the iron rods are made at 15 ago. Is that correct? Yes, they are. Okay. Well, both of these producing iron. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll just put them both next to each other. This is not going to be a very massive build again. It's just going to be sort of a starting. Let's see what we're doing. Go on, go on. Uh, that's what we need. And then you connect to there. And then go right. And then we want to go with. Um, seven, one of those. Do oh, oh, and then awesome, they're gonna come up, they're gonna go into here, they're gonna produce into iron rods and into iron rods. Cool. We then want uh, another constructor. Right in front of that one. Oh, I'm not even putting a great deal of space in between them. We we'll have to put it the right around, I suppose. That, that's probably a good thing to do. So let's try that again. There we go. Boom and boom. That's as close as they can get. I can't even get in there myself. Might regret doing that. Probably will regret doing that. But hey, it's got a ladder on it. That's fine. And you're going to produce screws. Okay. So you, we hung with the power, so it's fine. Um, right, and then we want an assembler on the end. Like in between the two. Like this here somewhere. A bump. And this wants to be doing rotors? Yep, rotors. Okay. And I really feel as if. I should have put this all going that way instead. Because now if I want to bring iron plates up here, I've got to do it in a really awkward way. I don't know how to do it. Well, I do know how to do it actually because we've got that going down there. I could just put a splitter there instead. interesting there's a gap in it uh, but yeah I could just put a splitter there instead and uh, and split it coming up and it would come up and come along in, in here somewhere and then all this is in the way so yeah perhaps I should move this around because I want to have uh, the other assembler doing the modular frames which needs Iron, which needs rods, which will come from here. Oh, you need 18 a minute. Ah, we're not producing 18 a minute. You need more 132 screws a minute, and you're producing 90. So that's going to go slow. That's fine. That's fine. Let's let's just let's just plug it in and be done with it, shall we? Give it a try. Give it a try. See if it works. It should work. Uh, You never know, it might decide to go absolutely not and go kaboomy. Not working at all. How many machines we got here? We've got four machines. That's unfortunate. Uh, one there. One there. I don't know where we're going to get power from. Uh, I suppose there. And a power pole right on the wall. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Do 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 be do do you so that one you that one do to that one then you to that one there we go okie dokie 
you're getting the things and producing the iron rods. The iron rods are going in there, and the iron rods are coming straight out of there, going into here. Everything is awesome. You've got your screws. You're going to produce rotors. Excellent. Okay. Go back downstairs and see if we can't move this this thing here. So let me make a personal storage box and uh, dump all my goods in it. And then let's zap that. Oh, and we picked up all of them. Yes, we did. Awesome. Oh dear. Oh, well, I can't fall off that. That's good. That's good. Right, uh, this way. I'm going to fall off that gap at some point. I'll see that coming. Okay, let's dump all of our iron rods in there. Oh, we want that. Dump all. There we go. No, 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 we want that. Got that. There you go. Okay, and then you're going to get all the iron rods you need. Produce the rotors. And you're just going to be waiting for screws, which makes sense because it's only producing 90 and that needs 123 or 132. And I can't really get another one up here doing anything like that because we are running at capacity for our iron ingots. That's probably why we need more iron coming in. What I do want to do is I want to go hunting for um, uh, wrecks, the crash wrecks, because there are loads of them out there, and uh, they give you wonderful, wonderful things. And I feel as if that could be very useful, because I I kind of feel for the last couple of episodes I've been a bit stagnated. I've been sort of it's all sort of come to a stop and uh, I can really do with getting a bit more going on Does that make sense? things feel slow, that's what I'm trying to say things feel slow I don't have any cable, that makes sense because I've got everything in there Right, my splitter. And uh, tickle. This is something I'm probably going to regret splitting these off like this because this is going to run out of iron plates I reckon what I should really be doing with this one is uh, one, two, three, four, five I should be here in the centre this should be where the storage is it should be in the centre and then all the mergers should come to the centre because that would speed up production. Um, but I do want to split it off because I want to move some more iron plates upstairs. Um, although this is a really bad place to be doing that because my yeah, it's in the way. Really, I want it to come through this way, don't I? But then I've got iron rods on this one now, haven't I? And I want the iron rods. In fact, we want to split the iron rods off there. That's going to be awkward to do. Hmm. How would we go about doing that? How would we go about splitting off the iron rods so that we can have another assembler? Which I can't make because I need a rotor. Well, that's convenient. Um, Um. 
and you need to make modular frames. So you want, oh, you want reinforced. You don't want iron plates, you want reinforced. Sorry, I got that wrong. So we don't need another one there. We need reinforced from that side to come over. And then it also needs um, iron rods. So I need the iron rods as well. I should have done this all the way around. I should have put the screws on this side and the iron rods on that side. That would have made much more sense. But I didn't. So we're going to have to work with what we got now. Let's see here. How can I... How can I do that? I'm going to have to move something, can't I? If I get rid of that belt there... And put in a splitter? Mm. No, that's going to be way too close for the belts to go in. Okay. Uh... This is going to need mega production anyway, isn't it? Okay, okay, yeah. So this this is this is going to need far more production than we're actually doing here. So you need mass production on a, such a heavy, heavy scale for this game. So, okay, we're getting plenty of reinforced iron plates and that's fine and I, I do know these these are like waste of space you can compact this so much more than what I'm doing but um I like I like being able to walk around and do things this is just a little proof of concept so what I think I'm gonna do is go to that other iron source and set up something what's that that's limestone yeah, that's limestone yep. Yep, time so. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the truck and we will have a look at trying to get more iron to come over here. And uh, sort of figure it out from there. I, I've. This is working, so I'm going to leave this. There, there is part of me that wants to tear this all down, completely tear it down. And just have a smelting area so everything comes in and gets smelted into ingots and then the ingots go off and do what they gotta do in different places so we'll have a smelting factory and then we'll have an iron plate factory and then we'll have a um iron rod factory and then we'll have a screw factory i really like that idea but i think we need better forms of transportation first so what I think I'm going to do is we've got enough steel frames, we've definitely got enough cable and we've got enough to fit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to carry on making the rotors and uh, we shall bring this episode to a close and the next episode once this is done we shall start, we'll, we'll complete steel production and uh, whatever that gives us which would be helpful. I didn't didn't pay attention because there's motors and things like that um really need to move the hub as well it's really a bad place yeah but i think we'll have a um i, I will i will do all well let, let me know what you think should, should i leave it as it is and just carry on building where i'm going or should i tear it down and do things better that gives us minus mark twos which doubles the output of everything which would be a really good sort of place to go, okay then we're going to change all our miners and have everything come in to one place. Because I also really, 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 really industrial storage unit, awesome. Um, really want to have a look at getting trains, which I know we're way off yet. But I think having trains would really help with the like connection between the buildings. I mean, little rail networks. Not that I know how trains work. I've not even seen anyone use them yet. I'm going this way. Um, so I don't quite know how that works. But it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to try. I think having... Particularly having trains bring the resources in from far away. That'd be better than the truck stops. But we could use trucks to start with. There's not an issue doing that. 
Um, this requires motors and modular frames. Okay, so we research the motors. That's fine. That's fine. So yeah, I think we'll bring this episode to a close here. And uh, I shall come back next episode once we are ready to complete our steel production. And uh, then we'll spend an episode or two taking things apart and uh, rebuilding. Rebuilding. I might even go scouting for a, a, let's say a better location, but this is really good. This is, this is really good. I think, yeah, we'll... Um, We'll sort that all out, we'll do bits and pieces. I might even move that factory to the ground because I don't particularly like it floating. So, but let me know what you think. Should, should I just carry on as things are or should I tear it all down? If I was going to tear it all down and do it all that, I'd, I'd tear it all down off camera because um, you don't want to see me just running around with the F key for ages. Um, and uh, I'll put all the foundation in and then we'll come back and I'll show you how I've done things. I, I wouldn't obviously build anything that I've not built before off camera that will be done on camera but I just uh, do a lot of it off camera so let me know and um, we can take it from there so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this episode hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun